When we look at a formula and we note that hydrogen is at the beginning of the formula, that's a key indication that we be, should be thinking that this might be the formula for an acid. And typically acids are going to be aqueous solutions, so the combination of a formula starting with H and an AQ written as the state for the substance are what we would key off of to identify a substance as being acidic. In a nutshell, when we look at um, an acid, we have hydrogen as the cation, and the anion will either be a monatomic ion, and that would create a binary acid. Binary acids are named by starting the name with the hydro prefix, and then the stem comes from the element that is bonding to the hydrogen, so this stem would be from the anion, and the IC ending is placed at the end of the acid name, along with the word acid. So HCl, in aqueous solution, would be hydrochloric acid. For ternary acids, acids where hydrogen is bonded to a polyatomic ion, the ending of the acid name is determined by the ending of the polyatomic ion's name. So the stem comes from the polyatomic ion, the anion. There is no prefix, there's no hydro placed at the beginning of ternary acid names, unless there's a prefix on the anion, such as per or hypo. Those are retained. Uh, but in general, ATE endings change to IC, ITE endings change to OUS. And once again, you tack on the word acid at the end. So H2CO3 is hydrogen bonded to the carbonate ion. So carbonate ending in ATE, the ending changes to IC, and H2CO3 would become carbonic acid. HNO3, we see nitrate in the formula, so nitrate forms nitric acid. If we compare two of the chlorine ternary acids, HClO3, ClO3 being chlorate, that would form chloric acid, whereas chlorite, ClO2, would form chlorous acid. The first example here, HBr, is a binary acid, only two element symbols, so we you know we're going to start with the hydro prefix. Stem comes from the anion, which is bromine, and then we put ic acid on the end. So HBr would form hydrobromic acid. HClO is a ternary acid and we know that hydrogen is the cation, so ClO is the anion, ClO being the hypochlorite ion, and so thus the name of the acid would be hypochlorous acid when the ITE ending changes to OUS. H2S is a binary acid, so it will start with hydro, and this one will be named hydrosulfuric acid. H3PO4, another ternary acid, based on the phosphate ion, and so this would be called phosphoric acid. And the last formula that we see here is kind of an exception to the rule. It is a ternary acid in that it is composed of hydrogen and a polyatomic ion. However, when it's named, it is treated as if it is a binary acid. And so when we name HCN, it does in fact start with the hydro prefix, and we would name this hydrocyanic acid.